Good afternoon, colleagues. Um, I'm Christopher Dorr, and I work for a small boutique company of about four people uh, called Heritage Business International. We've been FAME members for eight, eight years, so a little while. And I've been here before, and I appreciate a few minutes, um, Kenneth and, and Tim, to, to let me talk. I understand the, um, you know, there, there's only one thing worse than standing between you and lunch, and that's between you and the pub, so I didn't get the worst slot here, but I'm right up there. So I'll be, I'll be brief. Uh, just a tiny bit about our business, because I don't want to talk about our, our business. But as I mentioned, we're a small boutique firm. We consult on cultural heritage, business law, and policy. On the business side, we help heritage organizations like yours, archaeological companies, organizations, other types of heritage organizations, uh, grow value, financial value, uh, achieve financial sustainability and also have a greater impact in the in the work that that you do given that we're talking here the theme today is about international opportunities i will just kind of bring up as i often do when i come to the uk and and talk to, to uk companies north america is something you should be thinking about if your firms aren't it's you've heard a little bit about it today it's surprisingly easy to work there and there's some very very good business reasons that you can should be considering that. The market's about four times as large as in the UK. We more or less speak the same language, uh, so it's fairly easy to do work. And archaeology is surprisingly similar, the way that we do compliance on, on projects. But probably more important from the business side is risk reduction, that you are in a different economic cycle, a different political cycle, and a much larger market. So. If, if you know, I can be of help to your companies um, in getting you to the Americas or in other issues of the business side of your organizations, you know, we can talk later and you know how to find me. What I do want to do this morning is just tell you a brief, a brief story. There's some handouts coming out. Uh, oops. Doug, how do I make this large here quickly? All right, so you heard a little bit about the American Cultural Resources uh, Association this morning, the, the sister organization to fame. The, I had the opportunity about 20 years ago to be the president of, of ACRA. And a part of that role was, as you, as you heard um, from Rich and Ellen, is lobbying and educating and working with our, our governments at various levels. Well, 20 years ago, when I did that and I had my first meeting with a high level, the, the staffer for, the, for a senator um, to advocate on behalf of our industry, they started asking questions like, how big is your market? How many companies are there? How many people are employed? And unfortunately, I couldn't answer those questions. And it was quite embarrassing and I, I, something needed to be done. So I started a project just kind of on a personal level to try to quantify some of those those things initially in the United States and over the last 20 years that has grown out uh, fortunately we never in the back of my head for about five six seven eight years I've thought about doing what we call a uh, cultural resource map or CRM map or however you want to pronounce it of, of taking this database that we started growing and making it available um, to, to the community simply for the good of our community and helping each other and learning more. Um, we did that finally, we had a couple of good years. Last year we were able to invest and get it online and we had a good year this year. So we decided to, to come out and work on version 2.0. The front end worked great, the back end was an absolute disaster. So version 2.0 was really to improve the, the back end. I was hoping, I was pushing our consultants to get this done so I could roll it out for you here at Fame. We didn't quite make it, but we're probably within a month of getting 2.0, which cleans up the back end. And it goes to a crowdsourcing model. Rather than me paying a half-time person, which is really what it's been, combing the internet to find information about companies, calling people, um, just get some basic, basic data. Um, we're going to make it crowdsourced, and we will have secure user accounts for your companies where you can update your own information keep it up, and we're hoping that that will expand it out and, and keep the, the data 
much, um, much more timely and better. Additionally, currently, and we've kind of cut it off, so it, what you're seeing and what you see when you go on isn't up to date with our database because it was never real time. So another addition to our version 2.0 is that as soon as you update the database, uh, which you, know, you can all do online for your organization, it'll instantly be uh, updated on the, on the display. So uh, one of the things we're finding is that our world um, is far larger than we ever, ever thought it were, was. And we're also finding the linkages between companies is, is there, there's an amazing web of internationalism that is going on that you may not ever be aware of because you think of firms as being local firms or national firm, but in reality, they are owned by someone else and they're tied in under the subsidiary. So we're learning some about the, the web of, of our industry uh, too. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention today. I encourage you to participate. The little handout that I gave you, because we're right in this transition period, I'm asking you, if your firm isn't already on here, you would like to get it in, just please send me an email. Um, you don't need to give me a lot of information. As soon as we go live with this version two, you will get an email from the system asking you to register your firm and then you can get it, get it on. So um, despite the fact that the system will let you kind of fill out information, just please email me in the next month if you're interested not on. And then hopefully a month, within, within the month, things will all be automated and ready to go. <clears throat> so how have people been using this? You know, uh, clients are using it to find companies in their areas. Uh, you know, people who are looking for jobs are using it to find uh, potential employers near them. Other companies are using it to do some uh, intelligence on competitors in different areas and to assess markets for expansion and, and to see where, where companies are. So there's multiple users, multiple uses for this. So thank you for the time. Enjoy your lunch.